Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is a wonderful evening. Um, I'm so honored to be up here to present whom I call a dear friend, an award this evening. Um, many of you have watched her for a few years or so and have enjoyed her work. I get to call her my friend as well as enjoying her work. So Patricia Brennan of the Washington Post once wrote, there's something about WRC's Barbara Harrison that causes people to bear their souls. Indeed, those of us who have watched and admired her over the years know her as that heartwarming storyteller whose stories are hard to forget. The faces of those children are so hard to forget. Thank you, Barbara. Barbara Harrison's work shows us how media can change lives and inspire a community. And tonight, we are proud to honor Barbara Harrison with the Epic Award for Excellence in Community-Inspired Content. It is wonderful to be here tonight, and I too am a big Hamilton fan, and I actually videotaped the singers as they were singing and, and can't wait to try to put that on TV, which I often do when I go out and see something that's just too good not to show to everybody. I want to tell you that I am especially honored and thankful that an organization that itself is about serving the community would choose me for an award that says my stories have made a difference. Anyone who has watched NBC4 over the years will know our long-standing slogan is working for you. And in the 35 years that I've been at Channel 4, I can tell you that the station really does take that motto very seriously. While breaking news is what most news programming seeks to excel in, we also know that we have an obligation to our viewers to bring another kind of news, not just what just happened on the street, but information that can help them to make our community a better place. You know, I really do feel that I live in a community, even though we're one of the largest multiplex cities in the world, and the, really, we have so many jurisdictions here, but every time I go out, and I'm out a lot at events where we uh, are honoring people who do things for the community, I see so many of the same people. And it's just wonderful that we live to help each other and to share with each other, and I'd like to bring more people under the, the big tent to, to uh, be in our community. When we see something that's wrong at Channel 4 that's not working, we feel that we have to try to do something about it. Currently, we have a station-wide program called Changing Minds, seeking to help turn the light on mental illness uh, in our community, getting people the help they need, trying to make it easier to find help. Over the years, we've taken on different issues. Next year will be the 25th year of our Health and Fitness Expo, bringing all kinds of free health screenings and tests to, um, uh, to our community, our wide community, uh, for a three-day weekend. And many, many, many thousands of people always show up for that. I have never gone to our management and told them about an idea that I had that I wanted to try to, to help some part of our community that they have said no to. It's been my challenge to find some way, though, to make it something that people would want to watch. Because we don't know who's watching out there. I, I don't know if you remember, probably many of you weren't born yet. I followed one of my pregnancies uh, called Beautiful Babies right from the start because I had heard that we had and learned more about this, one of the highest incidents of infant mortality in the country. And we made a really big difference. We made a dent for nine months, eight and a half. I had cameras following me for the, uh, the duration of my pregnancy. And then I thought, we can't just end it like this. They've got to see what happens. So I took the cameras into the delivery room. And I think that's when I made a whole lot of friends here, because they really thought they got to know the real me. I was, uh, it was as uncomfortable as you can imagine, but as I've always said, it was like having this psychoprophylactic way of not thinking about the pain. I was thinking about keeping the cameraman from going on that side of my, my body. Anyway, we know we are making a difference in, uh, in the community, and, and we will continue to do that. I always say that uh, you don't know who's watching. I go out on the street uh, and I see guys who are sleeping under the bridge and a guy will say, oh, hey there, hey there, Barbara Harrison, you're the one with all the kids. And I'm thinking, where did he watch television? He's living under a bridge. But 
but people find us and they see us and they know that we're making a difference. I think one of the fondest memories I have that tells me that uh, everybody's watching, old, young. I was in, in a Safeway, not one that I generally shop in, and I was looking for something and I had to reach over a, a stroller with about a two and a half or three year old who could barely talk. And I'm looking and trying to reach and he looks up at me and he says, where's Joe Krebs? And that's happened so many times with people. So I know that we are a community that, that knows each other. I know that we are so happy to have all of you thinking that what we do is great enough to be celebrated tonight. So thanks again for having me. Thank you.